As a girl boss, my opening question for every first date is, how will you handle being in a relationship with a woman who is significantly more successful and attractive than you? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, bad idea. <laughs> Can you actually imagine that? You're on a first date with somebody and out of nowhere, they're like, how will you handle being in a relationship with a woman who is significantly more successful and attractive than you? Oh, would you look at the time? I better get going. <laughs> okay, bye now. Welcome back everybody. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're excited for some nice girls. I've been thinking about this video all week. I love the nice girl subreddit. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll have lots of terrifying fun today. This video might be a little bit shorter than normal. Only because there just aren't as many nice girl posts. But I'm going to try my best to read every single one. Alright, let's jump into it. Enjoy. I'm in now seven episodes deep into community and I'm in love. I don't know why I never watched this before. Yeah, so good, right? Who's your favorite character? I think Troy. Yeah, Troy and Abed, Abed, Abed are easily my favorites. Donald Glover is great in anything he does. They are just darling. I don't know if you're a Star Wars guy, but he was great in Solo, which was arguably a horrible movie. Yeah, he played Lando and for some reason they made him have a robot fetish. He's also the rapper Childish Gambino. You almost forgot him being Simba in the remake of The Lion King. Now that we've got his IMDB page out of the way, I'm wondering if there's more to look forward to in this convo than you mansplaining things to me. Sorry if I'm being too forward, but if this quarantine has taught me anything, it's that when I get back out into the real world, I'd like to not surround myself with guys that think they know more than me in terms of typically guy stuff. Little smiley face. Oops, did I say that out loud? Um, excuse me, lol. What did I mansplain to you? Donald Glover's career, mostly. <laughs> How is that mansplaining? You were talking about it. No, I was commenting about how weird they made the Lando character and then said he was childish Gambino. Exactly how you said he was in Solo. Sort of hypocritical to jump to conclusions there, but it seems like that message is loaded and ready to go at the first sign of mansplaining. Nope, that message was crafted completely for you, babe. Yeah, I think this has run its course, lol. Good luck. Aww. <laughs> How did they get upset about that? It seemed like they were having a perfectly fine conversation. Yeah, I'm getting terrifying vibes. She has been through hell. So believe me when I say, fear her when she looks into a fire and smiles. <laughs> Oh my god. What is that supposed to mean? You've like turned evil? When I look into a fire and smile, fear me. Because I'm now a serial killer. Like for real, what are they talking about? I wish I had at least a little bit of an idea, but I don't. Hey, can I ask why you decided to unfollow me? You unfollowed me, so I did the same back. Yeah, because I don't know you. You were the one to follow me originally, and I followed you back. <laughs> You haven't got much manners towards a beautiful woman if you're unfollowing them. Are you having a laugh? You unfollowed me. I'm not going to continue to follow someone who unfollowed me five minutes after following me. Yeah, but you must think that I'm unattractive. Otherwise, you would have kept following me. Oh my God, it's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> ah, that's making me mad and I don't even know who these people are. And obviously, they're just trying to get followed. Followers, and that's not a good way to do it because you know what they're definitely not gonna do now? Follow them. Not to toot my own horn, but imagine losing someone that looks like this and really
really cares about you. Girls like me don't come around often and now you regret losing me and you're never getting me back. Sorry, not sorry, I moved on. Oh no, that's not what somebody who's moved on says. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you've moved on at all. <laughs> I don't want to judge anybody too harshly. They're probably young. They'll probably learn. But yeah, that's really nice girly. Why is it bad when a guy takes a lot of photos of himself or selfies? It means he's insecure about himself and seeking validation. 100% has some narcissistic tendencies and a fragile ego. Out here spitting facts. And the title says this girl posts selfies every day. <laughs> Oh my god. The hypocrisy. Imagine taking selfies every single day or pretty much posting nothing but selfies and then saying that about a guy that does it. <laughs> like where'd your self-awareness go? Behind every crazy bitch is a sweet woman who just got sick of everyone's crap. Yes. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the exact same with the nice guys. If you're talking about how you were such a nice sweet person until something happened and now you're just super mean you were probably never nice to begin with. I'm honestly the nicest girl but people love to bring out the devil in me. I think you're trying to trick yourself into thinking that you're a nice person and also I'm honestly the nicest girl but people love to bring out the devil in me. Here's an idea don't let the devil in you come out you are in control of your actions. That's just so crazy crazy to be like, oh, these people said these things, so I'm just going to be super mean. <laughs> no! I don't think that being a nice person necessarily means that you never have a bad thought. Like, if you're a nice person, you're still going to get angry at people, and you're still going to want to say stuff to people, but you don't. <laughs> oh, no, I'm a nice girl. Men hate nice girls. They prefer wickedness. Know this and no peace. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think like I think like 90% of the posts on this subreddit are just people trying to convince themselves of something. Oh yeah, men hate nice girls. They prefer wickedness. No this and no peace. Yeah, or maybe not. <laughs> and maybe you're not that nice. I keep thinking about that Principal Skinner meme. Am I so out of touch? No. It's the children who are wrong. Funny how a year ago, I thought having a huge group of friends was important. Fast forward a year and I barely speak to anyone. Girls really do be the most horrible, snakiest people ever. Friends are supposed to applaud you, not defend people putting dirt on your name. Keep your circle small. These hoes really be out here for the gossip, then at the first opportunity, stab you in the back. I'ma do me forever. Sorry for you girlies thinking you can get to me. Like, yeah, usually the people who post that sort of stuff aren't really the nice ones, but we don't really have enough information here to be sure if it's a nice girl or not. Boys don't love. They'll leave you for someone better or with a bigger ass. Stop going for guys called Kyle who drink Monster, and you'll find good guys all over. Oh my god. A nice girl talking to a nice guy in one post? <laughs> Is this crazy? Christmas, I'm so happy. Boys don't love me, they'll leave you for someone better or with a bigger ass. They're basically talking about the woman version of a Chad. And stop going for guys called Kyle who drink Monster and you'll find good guys all over. Oh. <laughs> that is amazing. Not everyone gets the same version of me. One person might tell you I'm an amazing, beautiful soul. Another person will tell you I'm a cult old-hearted ass. Believe them both. I act accordingly. <laughs> That's not a good thing. I'm confused as to why you would post that. And also, isn't that what being two-faced is? <laughs> this is not something to be proud of. Hey, sorry, I napped. I'm not really interested in meeting up anymore. It was nice meeting you and I wish you the best. Lol. Lol. You think I am? You're the ugliest I ever met. If you
you saw who I was with today, you would cry. Find an ugly girl like you. Oh my god, ugly on the inside? <laughs> that is so mean. And like, I don't know if they're a nice girl or not, but that is so rude. And that's all the nice girls post for the day. I'm happy because like, they're really terrifying and I can't read any more of them even if I wanted to. But on the other hand, I really wish the nice girl subreddit was bigger and had more posts on it because they are sort of addictive even though they're terrifying. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to do extra wholesome memes. I don't think we should date anymore. Would you like to get married instead? Oh, and the title says she said yes. Oh, that's so cute. Congratulations. And it's also really nice to see that meme in a positive way. I don't think we should date anymore. Would you like to get married instead? <laughs> my heart is melting. Telling my mum that I broke the vase. My little brother who will not get in trouble. And then there's me getting a two hour life lesson. Yeah, the things that you'll do for your siblings, hey? But hey, nice girls and nice guys, that's what an actual nice person is. When the girl you like only wants to be friends, but then you realise it'll be nice to have a friend for once. <laughs> oh, that's happy and sad. If you ever feel like you don't have any friends, come over to the Vinci channel. There's 70,000 of us here. Getting inspired to get your life on track in the middle of the night. Genuinely feeling like you can actually put in the effort without going back to being lazy. Failing to sleep because you're too excited to start working on improving. Actually doing it in the morning and making progress. Yeah, that's so awesome. Keep up the good work. And it really is that simple. Decide what you want to do and figure out how to do it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you had fun with the nice girls today, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you thought. And today's comment of the day goes to Tatsu Murasaki. Nice guys don't watch Bob Ross. I bet that's their problem. You know what? I reckon it would actually help them a lot. Their life necessities right there. Bob Ross and Vinci. Alright guys, have a beautiful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. You can follow me on Instagram if you would like to. I actually just started a new Instagram. It's like a mood board of all the stuff that I really like and just cool photos if you wanted to follow me on there. The link will be in the description. Okay, Simpsons time. I'll see you tomorrow guys at the exact same time with more fun videos. I'll see you then. Yeah.